Hello, this is Ron Savoya, and I'm the Managing Partner of Stratus Innovations Group, and welcome to our Microsoft Office 365 demo series, and today we're going to talk about SharePoint content types. Content types, SharePoint content types is a new piece of functionality that is in SharePoint Online that provides uh, some very, very rich and very, very uh, fully featured functionality that allows you to very quickly and very easily put together a uh, enterprise class content management solutions, electronic document management, electronic content management solutions um, built on uh, and based on Office uh, 365 SharePoint Online and deploy that to your organization very quickly. So the, the way to think about content types is you can associate a, a content type which is based on a specific document template. A document template could be a Word document that you use for all customer presentations uh, or uh, all customer proposals, a PowerPoint presentation for all customer presentations, or an Excel workbook for submitting expenses, those sort of things. But instead, but in, in addition to the uh, the document template, you can put additional properties that automatically live with the document that gets created from that content type through the course of uh, the, the entire life cycle of that document from creation, editing, to deleting. And those properties can be workflows. So, for instance, you could automatically uh, kick off a workflow anytime a customer proposal is uh, put uh, is created such that let's say the management team uh, or the uh, sales management team has to review it for profitability and things of that nature you can enforce metadata which is information about that document who created it when was it created what's this in regards to you can enforce that versioning you could set up uh, version numbers such that if any time it's edited after it's created then you could have version 1 version 2 version 3 so you don't automatically just overwrite and lose whatever the previous version was. And then finally, for organizations with document compliance uh, regulations, say healthcare or financial services industry, you can enforce auditing policies and retention policies. Auditing policies are, I will always log if somebody um, edits this document, deletes the document, moves the document, checks it out. Or you can set up retention policy that says this document will absolutely be deleted after so many days. So let's show you how we use uh, content types. So here's the, uh, uh, the team site that we had put together previously. And if we go into the shared documents, into your document library, and you click on the documents tab under library tools, at this point here you would select the new document. And what all we see right now is this. It says documents, just a base word document, nothing special. But I'll show you how we do that. So before we do that, there's some housekeeping that we've got to do. You click on site actions, site settings, and there are specific uh, features of SharePoint that you have to enable. So we're going to go under site collection administration, click on site collection features, and specifically as it relates to workflows, you've got to make sure that these are enabled. Make sure that publishing approval in workflow is enabled, SharePoint 2007 workflows uh, is enabled, three state workflows and workflows as well are enabled or active. And the way you activate them is just simply click. If, it, if, if they're active, you'll see the blue button. If not, you'll just see the button that says activate, and then all you do is click that. One other um, feature that I recommend you enable is this Office Web Apps. Office Web Apps it allows you to view and specifically edit Office documents in a browser, so that essentially gives you um, Office via the cloud. So you can edit, create documents all via the browser, and you do not need the Office client, the full Office professional client, or the Office uh, client on your desktop to do that. So that's something that I recommend any organization that's utilizing SharePoint uh, use those. Uh, use that functionality. So once we've added, we have enabled these features, we now want to create those content types. So I'm going to go back into Site Actions, Site Settings, and under Galleries, I'm going to click uh, Site Content Types, and I'm going to create a content type. And this one I'm going to call uh, Acmecom. Acmecom is our company name. Company, uh, or let's say Customer Proposal Document. And I'm going to set this up, select parent content type from document, because we're creating a document. So it's going to come from document content type. And the parent content type, again, will be document. I'm going to put this in a new group. So a group would be a collection of content types. And for this one, I'm going to create, you know, if you want to create additional content types for your company. I'm going to call this the Acmecom. Just click OK. So we've set up the base information about this. 
Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and into um, advanced settings, and I want to associate a template. So here is a Word document template. This is what we want to use as our customer proposals, and uh, this is a template that I want to use for that. So I'm going to uh, base off that template. We're going to come here and click Select, click Browse. I have that template on my, um, on my machine, so let's click uh, Company Proposal and click OK, leave all the rest the same. So now we've associated a base template with that content type. The next thing we're going to do is set up a workflow. So under Settings, we're going to click Workflow Settings. And then we're going to click Add a Workflow. And again, as you remember going through the previous step of enabling these features, if you haven't done that, you'll only get these first two. By enabling them, you'll get the rest of them. So I want to have a publishing approval uh, workflow, call this uh, customer uh, proposal approval workflow. And I want to basically and kick off this workflow anytime a new item is created. I can also do it anytime an existing item is changed, but probably the best thing to do and what I recommend is have two separate uh, workflows, one when you create it, one when you, uh, you edit it. So let's click Next. And at this point, I'm going to put in the specifics of the workflow. And let's say for this workflow, I want uh, Jill Hicks, who's our sales manager, to look at it first, and then I want to review it next. Um, and over here, and then when you click OK to validate that, and that looks up our directory and validates that's who we are. And you have the option of either doing one at a time or serial or all at once. And for this one, I'm going to do a serial workflow. Um, from this, I'm going to put a, a due date for the tasks, but I'm going to do this one for duration. I'm going to say, please, everybody, finish this after, you know, take a look at this and get it completed within one day, and you have a lot of different granularity for this. Um, at uh, this point, we can also put some automatic rejection. So if Jill rejects it, it doesn't come to me. Um, and, you know, so from that aspect of it, so let's go ahead and put that. And the rest, we're going to leave the same, and we'll click Save. So at this point, we let's go back to the um, proposal uh, document content type template. So we have created the base information about it. We've created a template for this, a document template. We've added a workflow. Let's put some information rights management uh, to this. So again, um, we can we can have a policy statement about how this can be edited or created or who can view. Let's enable retention. Retention it simply says it does not get deleted until a certain time or it has to be deleted. And you can come in here and edit a retention stage as you would for a normal um, document retention documents. And this could be part of your, again, your broader retention uh, policies. I can also enable auditing. So anytime it's edited, checked in or checked out, moved or copied or deleted, I can log who did that and specifically from that. So now I'm going to click OK. So again, we created the base content type. We added a, a template, document template. We put a workflow. We did uh, some information rights management associated with it um, in terms of uh, uh, document retention and policy management. And finally, one, we are going to enforce the um, use of document information uh, properties. So document, the document information panel, it's the uh, panel that shows up um, if you enable it right above of uh, the document and Word, uh, the workbook in Excel, or the presentation in PowerPoint, and right below the ribbon uh, menu bar that essentially gives the information about that. Who created this? When was it created? What's this about? And we will also use the default template of that for the Microsoft Office application. So let's click OK. So at this point, we've completed the creation of our content type. And we've added all of these type of uh, features and functionality into that content type. So again, any document that is created from this base content type will always have those policies or those uh, properties associated with it that will flow with that document. So let's go back to our site. Let's go into our shared documents. And again, let's... Uh, try to create a new document, but as you see, all we have is still that document that we saw before. And again, there's one more piece of housekeeping that we've got to do. Click on the Library tab. Let's go over here to Library Settings, and let's go into Advanced Settings, and all we have to really do is make sure that Allow Management of Content Types is selected as Yes. Everything else we can leave the same. Click OK. 
And then in this, uh, in the document library settings, we now have this section called content types. And I'm going to click add from existing content types. So again, we created that group called Acmecom content types. This is our customer proposal document. We're going to simply click add, click OK. And if we go back into our content type, you see, remember I said here's the one that's document. Um, so from here, I want to change the look and feel of that. And again, I, you can either include that document, uh, the base document, or all you can have is um, just our content type we just created. And I'm going to simply leave it as that, just the, uh, the uh, content type that we just created. And you can create more and then add them from here as well. So now we've enabled that. And you can also do versioning settings, as I mentioned. I can create major versions for this. I can do no versioning. So, for instance, if I want to do major versions, I can say and also keep the last four uh, versions. Um, so, again, you can do um, this type of access. And any time you do editing, you can enforce check in or check out. So those type of um, uh, information from that. We're going to click OK. So now we've enabled this document library to use that document content type. Go back to the team site. Go back to our shared documents. And now if we go into the Documents tab and click New Document, lo and behold, you'll see the Acmecom Customer Proposal document. So we select that, click OK. And then what gets created is Word will get fired up. And with that will be um, that content type that you saw that we created. And then at that point, I can make the changes and save it. And then once I save it, the workflows kick off, the retention policies kick off, and everything associated with it. So this is a really neat way to enforce corporate um, branding, corporate standards from uh, specific documents to use, allows reuse so you can reuse a, a design or branding and, uh, and marketing. Um, so that type of functionality is really, uh, really good to try to use from that aspect of it. So that ends our uh, webinar on uh, content types. We hope you found this uh, valuable. Uh, in terms of next steps, there are we have additional uh, webinars. We talk about cloud computing, cloud security. We also have the rest of our uh, Office 365 uh, webinar series uh, that you can review. Um, also, in terms of next steps, we have 30-day no-cost, no-risk pilots for Office 365 and all of our cloud products and as well as to going deeper in terms of a cloud assessment. Is your organization ready for the cloud, both technically and financially? So uh, this is how you can contact us. We hope to hear from you, and we look forward to seeing you on one of our next uh, webinars on Office 365 and our cloud products. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Thanks.